Hi, hello, and welcome to another video. This week I had you guys, my Instagram fam, choose my makeup for me. Let's see how that turned out. And if you like videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe. I asked you all to pick a dewy base and you chose the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I'm in the shade Zero. This is one that I reach for quite often and you only need one dip into it. It covers so much. This has a slight touch of coverage, definitely more than the one it dupes. And I really love the finish on the skin, looking glowy. Okay, my apologies. I forgot to pull for a concealer. Sorry. So I'm taking the concealer from Live Tinted. I'm in the shade 19. I love the brush applicator and I love the finish and coverage. Also, apologies if you hear dogs barking in the background. The neighbor's dog is barking at my dog and they're communicating. For the foundation, you guys picked the CL Tint and Protect. This has SPF 50 in it and I am in the shade 01 Ivory. Also points to CL because they put the expiration date on the bottle, which is chef's kiss definitely needed. Wish more people did that. Here is the finish on the skin. It's really lightweight, dewy, and fresh looking on the skin. There's no giveaway that this is not just my natural beautiful skin, okay? Next, you guys chose the Mob Beauty Blurring Loose Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. I don't usually use it on my under eyes because it does deepen that area on my very fair skin. The blurring cannot be denied. It makes your skin look so smooth, especially in the T-zone area. I definitely recommend you all try it. For bronzer, you guys chose the Sun Melt Bronzer. I'm in the shade Fair Bronze. This is sheer but buildable and it looks really natural on the skin for that perfect sun-kissed bronze. For blush, you guys picked the Danessa Myricks blush in the shade It Girl. It has that Ups Light technology so it's going to last all day long. They work on so many skin tones because you can build them up or sheer them down like I did here. I'd consider this an all-season blush. Hokey dokey, you guys picked the KJH Hyper Shine Highlighter. I'm in light pink and I am adding just one drop of the serum. And I'm using her brush as well. And just prepare yourself because this stuff shines like a lighthouse beacon in the dark. Naturally, I'm going to apply it everywhere. <laughs> Such a unique highlighter concept and you can't deny that glow. The eyeshadow you all chose was the Lisa Eldridge Myth Palette, full of different purple variations as well as textures of the eyeshadow. First up, I'm going to take the shade Mauve Decade all through the crease, nice and easy, and then I'm going to take the shade Violet Stone, which is a velvet formula, just like Mauve Decade, and I'm taking that on the crease as well, and also on the outer corner, kind of make a gradient there. Moving on to Victorian Trim, also a velvet texture. These velvet textures almost feel like a cream to powder and I placed that on the inner corners before moving on to Faded Amethyst, which is a metallic to amp up the depth in the outer corner but in an unexpected way because it has that shimmer. I'm going to go all around the borders of my eyeshadow with that same mob powder. Not only because it's blurring, but this will also help smooth out any harsh edges. Now I'm taking the deepest shade, Nocturama. This is a velvet formula. I'm creating myself a blurred out wing and also taking it on the lower lash line, as well as Victorian Trim, buffing and blurring those shades together. The star of this palette is Illusionism. This is a top coat, which means it's very sheer. The purple and pink sparkles amp up the look. For liner, you guys chose the Victoria Beckham Satin Couture Liner. I'm using my beloved Bordeaux shade today. These liners have the creamiest texture, and I'm taking that all along the upper lash line and blurring it out, as well as the lower lash line. I'm going to tap on a little bit more of that glitter because I don't want it to get lost and I am absolutely loving how it's turning out. You guys read my mind because I absolutely love the NYX Thick It Stick It Brow Gel. I'm using the shade Taupe right here. You also picked a favorite in the brow pen. I'm using the shade Blonde. I love this. It's so easy to use and you just flick up for individual brow hairs. This is a me choice. I'm taking the Danessa Myricks Blurring Balm Powder in the shade 1 to clean up those brows. The lip product footage corrupted Lisa Eldridge and Hourglass 1. Y'all chose Half Magic and of course that was also corrupted. But for the extra category, you guys chose lashes. I'm using the NYX Jumbo Lashes, the style Full Feather Flex, using the House of Lashes glue. I'm struggling a little bit to get these on. It's my first time wearing this pair. Here you see me using the mascara but over the top to blend in my lashes. You all picked fantastic products because I love the way this look turned out. Fixed up my hair a little bit. And that's the look, friends. I, a lot of these products were already fady faves. I love how it turned out. 
quick shout out to all the people that answered the poll on Instagram. I always love taking in your input and the look y'all created is absolutely wonderful. Many, many thanks to you all. Let me know if we should do this again. It turned out fantastically. Be blessed, be kind, and we'll see each other again soon. Bye!